Double O Double O Crew. Not gonna show you where I'm at because it's my secret little hidey hole. But uh, look what we got here. <laughs> I put in a bait trap for minnows for a trip I'm doing, and I got a insane amount of crayfish. So what we're gonna do here is a crayfish catch and cook. Literally all I did was take this minnow trap, bait it with a piece of bread for minnows, threw it in where I knew there were a lot of minnows, and I, I know there were crayfish in here too, but not this many. But uh, yeah, so that's all I did. Oh boy, okay. Jeez, that's a lot of crayfish. Okay, okay, they're starting to spill over. All right, all right, all right. Get to your home. Your new home. Get in there. Come on, boy. That's a lot of crayfish. All right, back in the kitchen for these crayfish. So all you do, take a pot, take one of these, or if you have a steamer already, this is just what we have. Fish. Did right there. Okay, so you put water below that, right? Yes. Then it's pretty simple. You just Steam dump up. crayfish in, uh, put seasoning, whatever kind of seasoning you want to put. We have uh, crab seasoning that our grandfather makes homemade. And, uh, then you just dump them in. So, maybe a lot of people don't know. I don't even know how you uh, steam them exactly. Like, you just what? Turn it on what heat and for how long? Uh, I'd say give it about five, seven minutes, but really you're going to want to look for that color change in the shell. Do a nice deep red. Okay, so when, the, when it turns red, it's done. So, what do you do? Just enough water at the bottom of this to bring it right up to the. What is this thing called? What is this thing called? Hey. It's called a, we're gonna call it the, the steaming contraption. You you pour enough water in just to bring it to the very bottom of the steaming contraption. And uh, yeah, cool how we're teaching you guys stuff that we don't even really know. It's pretty, pretty interesting. So I missed a step here? You missed can a step. You, can you lift the steaming contraption out? Lift the steaming contraption out. Oh, such a simple process, and he wants to complicate things. I forgot one point of step. Okay. Vinegar? A little bit of vinegar, like you do crabs. Oh, okay. A little bit of vinegar. Helps to flavor it a bit. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. All right. And then you put the water in, right? Yes. Wait, why did I have to take it out to do that? Oh, I guess so it didn't get on it. Then the water don't matter. It can get on it. So, put the water in. Just mm. until it's about right at the bottom. Each layer I put on. As soon as we, as soon as the bottom's covered, pretty much. Okay, so you season each each layer, just like crabs. Yep. Spread them out. Season them, bad boys. Heavier or light, or what do you want? You can go light if you want. I'm gonna be dipping them and seasoning myself. Are you sure? Yeah, they're they're alive, guys, but they are. They've been in the fridge for two days, so they're like paralyzed with cold. So we're not cooking dead crawfish here. You can see every now and again their little legs move. But even if some of them did die, if they were in the fridge, they're fine. But most of them are just uh, super cold, not wanting to move. They were all alive yesterday as well, so if they all dead, it's fresh. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't get any of the water in there. No, it's all the stuff they've filtered out. It's moving as well. Oh, well, they're starting to warm up now, too, so they're all, they're all starting to move a little bit more. It's seasoning, is what's doing it, I think. You're hitting it. Shot in the face, huh? Nice. All right, a little heavy on the seasoning. Get it all over them. Bam! You turn the burner on, all right. What do we put it on? Throw that bad boy on like eight. Eight? Yeah, you want to steam it, man. You want a hot heat. 
Alright. And then you not gonna burn the bottom of them, so I you guess in ten minutes we'll check it. To make sure it's all boiling and steaming and good to go. Now shouldn't this have like some kind of hole or some way for the steam to escape? You should, but every now and again I'm just gonna give it a little just okay. to release the pressure. Cool. So we're not using the uh proper gear here guys as you can see if, if you actually buy all the correct stuff or have the correct stuff then you know you don't gotta worry about it but we're kind of jerry-rigging it all right it's been about 10 minutes now and they're turning red so i looked on line it said about 15 just for safety whoa that's hot yeah, it's steam. <laughs> so we'll give it another five minutes here keeping the temperature on high they're pretty red so how do you know like when they're done 100 percent like are that's, you gonna why feel I, that's, that's why it said uh Give, give it, it to, a couple extra minutes just, just to be sure. After, okay. red, so. So after it turns red, you give it another five minutes. Just to be sure. After you turn the heat off, you take it off this, and then you let it sit for another 15. Let it sit for another 15. Okay, so after you turn the heat off, so okay, 10 minutes around about until they turn red. After they turn red, uh, another five minutes of cooking with the heat on, then you turn the heat off slide them off of the burner and then let them sit for another 15 and that's how you know they're 100% done cools okay. off lets the juices settle and uh, finish, finish cooking, cooking. Okay. cool all right these bad boys are finito jeez it smells just like crabs i'm gonna be interested though to see how the heck we're even supposed to get the meat out of the tails like i was saying earlier what do you just peel the shell around like a shrimp or is it like eating lobster just like eating lobster. Just a very small version. Little mini Maryland lobsters. Broken open the claw. Take that. It's got a little piece of meat in the claw right Tell there. Tell me exactly what that tastes like. That's yeah, a good little, little hunk of meat out of the claw. That tastes exactly like blue crab claw meat. To a T. It really Indistinguishable. Does. Yeah. Exactly like completely food. indistinguishable. Hmm. Anyway, to get that tail meat, do that. So you break the tail off the body. I rip all that nasty stuff off the end there. Rip all the nasty stuff off the end. And then you will. Uh... There's some people who can just like squeeze it out like that and then pull it. It's kind of hard for me. So that's what you have left right there. Pretty much. I imagine most of that is like junk though. Kind of like when a normal crab get a peel out of that stuff away. Not really, you can just eat it. Well, most people just eat it. I'm too picky. I'm picky with meat, so I get all the mustard out of there. And a lot of people will have a thing of butter and dip it in the butter. I'm actually going to be picky enough to take that center vein out. So it has a center vein just like a yeah. shrimp. That black, a lot of people devein shrimp. Yeah, your crawfish isn't the fish for you if you're that picky. Yeah, because there's not enough meat to really... It's not worth uh, picking through. So I'm super picky with meat, so crawfish isn't really my forte. So after I'm done peeling all the junk off of it and deveining it, that's not what I'm left with right there. Not much left. But it looks good. It looks like shrimp. Yeah, pretty much is. That has a completely different taste. I know. That's what I said. Didn't taste at all like the blue crab. That's uh, that's good, but it tastes uh, I don't know, <clears throat> nothing I've ever tasted. Quick little update after we took these to the greenhouse and started eating them. Alec uh, has perfected the uh, picking method, so we wanted to update you guys and show you the. Just easy. so we don't look like fools here. It's been a while since they eat crawdads. It's called two twist. Twist one. About the second segment up. Twist two pulls out and you can devein it that quick all right you did that a little fast let's show them it's how a, to do it not how fast i'm just showing them how fast the method actually is okay well let's show them like step by step exactly where you twist and where you pull and what yeah that was two big crawdads right there in about what four seconds grab it and bob like i said first twist second segment second twist that's sec the second twist is he's got the tail in his see there there's two go. segments Pop oh, okay, out. okay, the second segment above the tail. Yep, you pop it out, and then it's a quick de-vein from there if you care about de-veining them. I and thought you said you found a way to pull it out, like pull the vein out with it. 
That was only on the big ones. Oh, okay. So the small ones, it doesn't work. On the big ones, the vein comes out with it. But sometimes you mess up a little bit. Comes out with it when you do the second twist or what? Yeah. Okay. Well, either way, it's still super fast. Yeah. Boom, you just pull the vein out. Crazy, crazy fast way, and I'm almost done that entire pot. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, like I said, just figured we'd give you the update there. So, yeah, until next time, get out there, enjoy the outdoors. Peace.